the next uh, paper, I don't have the full paper, I just have the abstract, but it was uh, published in Energy Conversions and Resources in 1993, and this study was conducted by the Department of Mechanical Engineering and a university in Pakistan. And this paper was presented at the 2003 ASME International Mechanical Engineers Congress. In this study, natural gas operated gasoline and engines achieve superior fuel economy on the expense of reduced power and increased emissions. One method of offsetting these disadvantages is by the addition of hydrogen gas up to 20% by volume to compress natural gas using the existing natural gas conversion system. This offers major benefits in fuel economy, light load performance, and lower emissions. The effect of supplemental compressed natural gas with hydrogen is studied along with the design of a simple hydrogen generation system. For a 1.3 liter bi-fueled engine, the Suzuki 1.3 G13BA gasoline engine fitted with the Randy Renzo compressed natural gas pressure regulator type TN1 has been used for experimentation. The system uses a small current of electrolysis of normal ordinary tap water for production of hydrogen and it was found that the light load performance is significantly enhanced and carbon monoxide and unburnt hydrocarbon emissions are reduced. Constraints on system design have been duly accounted for and the complete system is placed under the hood of the vehicle. And again, this paper is titled Hydrogen as a Fuel Supplement in a Compressed Natural Gas Operated Vehicle Using a Simple Onboard Hydrogen Generation System. And this paper was presented at the 2003 ASME International Mechanical Engineers Congress. The next, the next paper, and this is hot off the press. This paper is titled, Effect of H2 and O2 Addition and Increasing the Thermal Efficien Efficiency of a Diesel Engine. <clears throat> and this paper was published in the journal Fuel. This study was conducted by the, the School of Advanced Manufacturing and Mechanical Engineering, the University of South Australia. The abstract for this paper reads, Using hydrogen as an additive to enhance the conventional diesel engine performance has been investigated by several researchers and the outcomes are very promising. However, the problem associated with the production and storage of hydrogen currently limits the application of pure hydrogen and diesel op engine operation. Onboard hydrogen oxygen generator, which produces H2O2 mixture through electrolysis of water, has significant potential to overcome these problems. This paper focuses on evaluating the performance enhancement of a conventional diesel engine through the addition of H2O2 mixture through, generated through water electrolysis. The experimental works were carried out under constant speed with varying load and amount of H2O2 mixture. Results show that by using 4.84%, 6.02%, and 6.12% total diesel equivalent of H2O2 mixture, the brake thermal efficiency increased from 32% to 34.6% for, for a 19 kilowatt load. For a 22 kilowatt load, the thermal efficiency increased from 32.9% to 35.8%. And for a 28 kilowatt load, the efficiency increased from 34.7% to 36.3%. These results, these resulted in a 15.7%, a 15.16%, and a 14.96% fuel savings. The emissions of hydrocarbon, carbon dioxide, and CO2 decreased, 
and in these, this particular engine setup, the NOx emissions actually increased. I'd like to show you some graphs from this, from this uh, paper. This graph, figure 2, shows the variation of hydrogen and oxygen mixture percentage on the x-axis and on the y-axis shows the, the uh, change in thermal efficiency. This chart is the same data except the percentage in uh, hydrogen and oxygen mixture percentage is converted to a flow rate. And these flow rates are in liters per minute. This chart here shows the as the uh, increase in percentage of hydrogen and oxygen mixture increases, the brake specific fuel consumption decreases. And this chart shows as the hydrogen oxygen mixture is increased, the fuel flow rate decreases. This chart shows on the y-axis the percentage fuel savings and the x-axis shows the percent hydrogen and oxygen mixture. This chart shows on the x-axis the, the increase in hydrogen and oxygen percentage and the, its effect on air-fuel ratio. This chart here shows as the hydrogen and oxygen mixture is increased, there is a reduction in hydrocarbon emissions. This chart shows as the increase as the hydrogen oxygen mixture is increased, the NOx emissions increase. This chart shows as the hydrogen oxygen mixture increases, the carbon dioxide emissions decrease. And this chart shows as the uh, hydrogen and oxygen mixture is increased, carbon monoxide emissions decrease. I'd like to give a little bit more information about their experimental setup. In this study, a Hino four-cylinder direct injection water-cooled diesel engine was used in this experiment. The engine was mounted to electrical generator and the generator was then connected to an adjustable low cell, load cell to put a load on the engine. The mixture of hydrogen and oxygen was generated by electrolysis using a hydrogen oxygen generator machine, EPOC EP500. In this study, and this, this will raise some questions about the study. Uh, they supplied the power for the hydrogen production from an external power source. But, when they did their efficiency calculations, they accounted for the power that was used from hydrogen production and accounted that as an engine input. Therefore, they took the output, uh, engine output at, over the uh, addition of the, the fuel energy and the hydrogen energy and that's how they got their efficiency numbers. So this, this paper does account for the production of, of the power required for hydrogen production. Um, I'm presenting this data is basically the beginning of uh, collecting evidence because I would like to do additional research on this and I uh, currently have my mechanical engineering bachelor's degree and a master's in biological and agricultural engineering and I am looking into pursuing PhD research in mechanical engineering and I would like to uh, do a thorough investigation of using hydrogen from onboard electrolysis to improve uh, fuel emissions and also look at improvement in efficiency. Thank you.